Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to The Last of Us. Today, we are doing The Last of Us Part 2, full chronological Let's Play, and it's going to be a ton of fun. And if you guys are new to the channel, then make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified next time that we go live, and you can hang out with us while we're live. Oh, yes. Okay, that should be good. And let's continue. Oh man, I'm so excited. We did a full chronological Let's Play of Last of Us Part 1, and now we're doing this one. Oh man! Ah, oh, so cool. They have the Last of Us Part 2 stuff within the logo. I love it. I love it. Oh man, this game is so freaking good. I was so excited. I know that this game is very controversial for a lot of people, but I don't care. This is like one of the best games ever made, and I'm just excited to get started. So let's freaking do it. So let's do story, new game. We're going to do moderate, and pure order bonus is going to be off, and let's go. Let's do it. When I'm home, I go. Gotcha. Well, welcome, GTX. I am so excited. Finally, we are playing The Last of Us Part 2, remastered on PS5. A Naughty Dog game. I don't know what happened. I wonder what the moth on the guitar represents. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Welcome, GTX. Maybe and then hello, Soren. Yes. Home. Your business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Jesus Christ, Joe. What do you do? I feel like it's some version of the Firefly logo. I guess that makes sense. I don't think it is, though. I, I think it's unique. Because Ellie gets that tattoo. Ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. Yeah, I don't think she believed him. Now, I wish that could be explained a bit. Intriguing detail. Yes, it is. We should head back. But man, I am so excited. We're doing it, everyone. We're doing it. It's the video games. Uh. 
Oh man. We're back with Joel and Tommy. Game directors. I'm so glad that they decided to do the opening credits like this. L1 to gallop. You got it. Oh, look at those mountains. And there's Jackson! Ellie's too smart to believe what Joel said entirely, at least. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. You got it. I got it, I got it. I like how Joel ducks his head underneath that. Man, this game was so important to me. When it came out, I took off of work. I was supposed to do a big training and teach a bunch of people things, and I'm like, nope, it's Last of Us Part 2 time. I didn't do anything else. But just this. So now we can see what, what their lives are like. Starring Ashley Johnson, Troy Baker, and Laura Bailey. Beautiful. Oh. It's okay. I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. Right. About what we were talking about earlier. Can't say I'd have done different. I'll take you to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later, Tommy. Bye, Tommy. President of Naughty Dog, Evan Wells. I don't think he's the president anymore. I think, uh... Neil Druckmann is. Directed by Neil Druckmann. Alright, Neil, what do you got in store for us? Hello. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie is listening to the song that she played in the trailer for this game. Oh, Jesus. This gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... <laughs> hey. 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 What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are... You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and... how well you're helping out. Yeah. I feel like in some ways the game is Tommy different from the HBO the Max game. show series, but I'm not mad about it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. 
told me a joke. I, I thought about it. I like the game way better. Oh, shoot. No, I forgot it. Uh, I'm curious what they're going to do for uh, season two. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I got to get up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I'm going to get out of your hair. I just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. One second. You're late, Joel. How could you do this to us? You ha you've you lied to us this whole time. I can't believe you. Yay. Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. 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 Bella Ramsey is an awesome choice for Ellie. Yes. Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. <laughs> Alright, so use the left stick to do this, and then we use the touchpad to strum. That was sweet. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> it did not suck. I'll take what I can get. Soren says, both are great for different reasons, but I feel like both uh, play their own role in making what The Last of Us is and will be. Yeah, I feel that. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promised that I'd teach you how to play. You did? I mean... Promise is a bit of a stretch. Promise is a bit of a stretch, Joel. You you said that you should, but. So what do you say tomorrow night? First lesson. Deal. I think he said like, we get back to Jackson. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to play guitar. I'd reckon you really like that. I think he said that. Did. I didn't necessarily promise. Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Can I get Man, this is it. I'm so excited. I 
Are you guys so excited for this game? Need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. Callus. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sounds good, Soren. All right. I'm going to start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? Oh, no. Hmm? Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. Oh, all right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not going to guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what. It's called a litter. It's so dumb. It's <laughs> not a litter of kittens. Okay, okay. Hot air balloon. More walking, less talking. Hmm. You know I am. Yay, Soren is so excited for The Last of Us Part 2. Chronological Let's Play. Oh, yeah. And your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! Joel, what are you doing? Ellie doesn't know how to swim. She's going to drown. <laughs> Except we know how to swim a little bit. You should see your face right now. What am I drowned? You're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. This way. <laughs> You're worse. Hold, L1 to swim the faster. getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta. Push the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Glad to know I'm getting through. Take a look at this. You see it? You see Where? it? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like. No. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. Hmm. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> You're gonna need to dive under here. You learned how to swim to recently? Nice. Yeah, I got this. I still don't know how to swim very well. I could just doggy paddle, and that's the best I got. Is it... my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. Hmm? You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Uh, point still stands. Uh, right, get another dive over here. Where are you taking me? You can float doggy patterns now. Oh, doggy, doggy paddle? Nice. Very good. Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Come on, Joel. You you got it. I got it. But it's not drowning. That's good. There. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. Uh, That's, 
Which one? Just... yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Laser discs are pretty cool. Improvement, yes. That's what it's all about. Oh my gosh! Holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. Yay! He got her a dinosaur for her birthday. Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the tyrant king lizards. Of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Journal entry. Okay, wait. We got to see Ellie's journal. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's go back. Let's go back. Turn the pages back. As far back as we can go. Okay, this is as far as we can go. You remember floppy disks? Yeah. Okay, so we got a drawing of a deer. And then we have more drawings of horses. And that looks like, yeah, it's Joel and Tommy that she drew. And she drew, is that a picture of Dina? I think it probably is. Okay. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Aw. Nice. Okay, what does the next one say? Ooh. We got some drawings of a ram. Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. S smuggled a uh, bogey, I think that says. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose? I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. That's cool. Interesting. She spells cat with a C. Huh. So cat is uh, cat is a girl that we're talking to? So cool. What are you doing? Uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. <laughs> Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. I want to jump. Should we jump? Let's jump! Ah! Yeah, luckily there was this big hole here. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. It was. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. Ooh, I love science. And history is the science of the past. What's this? Giants uh, of the past. It's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. <laughs> Joel having heart attack. Yes. Ooh. Oh, nice. I remember those machines. Oh, man. You want to try it on? I do not. <laughs> You're lost. Yeah, we got a cool hat. Dinosaur eggs. Nice. Ooh. Oh, 
Look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D... Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Hmm. 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 Can I open this? No, I can't. I can't open the dinosaur book. Okay. That's fine, then. I didn't see the machine you were referring to. Yeah, so it's a machine that I think it, like, would inject plastic into a mold and then it would make a mold. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple figures there. One is a Triceratops, and then the other one looks like a Trinosaurus Rex. Automated miniature wax factory. Your own unique figure in moments for $2. So you can choose between the different templates, I guess. It only, I mean, in my opinion, it looks like there's only one template, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how the machine worked, but... Yep, I remember those machines. Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Hmm? Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> August 24th, 25th, Dino Hall. Interesting. Ooh, and then there's those penny crushing machines. 51 cents. Com... Composignus? Compo? Compsognathus. Compsognathus. Big name for little guys. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. It wasn't as good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. Because you guys are in a sequel right now! And some people think it wasn't as good. Okay, I think Disney does something similar with a penny, at least uh, from like pull from my memory. Yeah, yeah. Most theme parks have something like that. And try and visualize what the machine might look like. Yeah, totally. Giants of the past. Step back through time over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the Earth. In our giant... Pavilion, you'll find full of uh, full skeletons on display. See how you'd measure up next to our own Triceratops, Winnie, 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 and don't forget to look up. There are uh, pterodactyl circling. Afterward, head into our and next to get your hands on with fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. Nice. Very cool. Triceratops! Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look! That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. <laughs> What's the name of this dinosaur? Oh, it's Stegosaurus! Oh my gosh, those were bones? This brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. Oh my gosh. And then Triceratops? Winnie. Oh, that's what Winnie is. Winnie? I never heard of that. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> Ceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. True.
Dinosaurs are so fun. Bronchiosaurus. I oh, she can't reach that one. Ooh. The Nighthawk trading card. Oh, cool. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. Huh? What's the little creature thing? Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, what does it say? So, the Nighthawk. Real name, Jerry Lavelle. Jerry was the name of the surgeon that Joel killed. It all loops back around. Oh my gosh. I would make Hattosaurus a thing. Yes. Uh, so, Brains 80, Bronze 80. Affiliation Society of Champions. When a freakishly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark... Tetradon sounds, like sounds like a pill? Oh my gosh. Spark Aerobots and the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds together with his loyal greyhound ezio the small town kid known as the nighthawk scours the world for evildoers always ready to dive back into action hero Interesting. The Nighthawk. Cool. Wait, what was said? I'm not reading it again. You gotta pause and rewind if you want to see it again. I had the words up on the screen the whole time. Are you asking what Joel said? He said Dimetrodon sounds like a pill. Then Metrodona is one of the animals on display. Ooh. We got a mirror. So left stick moves up the head. And then the right stick moves her face. Happy. Uh, that's cool. That's cute. Ellie has a great smile. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. So cute. I love it. Joel, don't go in the women's bathroom. Unless... Wait, I'm sorry. Do you identify as female now? Welcome in, Joel. Or should I say, Miss... Jo, jo, Julie, Juliet? Juliet. Welcome, Juliet. Ah. Joel might be closeted. That's okay. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. What's an apex predator? The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Mm -hmm. Wait, were you talking about me? Whatever floats your boat. Uh. This does. Floats it all day. <laughs> or maybe he's non-binary, true. Or they, they are non-binary, yes. Or fluid, yes. Yes. <laughs> By the way, uh, Dimetrodon is not a dinosaur. Did you guys know that? Dimetrodon lived... Oh, I think it actually says right here. Uh, 
lived during the early Permian, which was 295 to 272 million years ago, which is uh, way before the dinosaurs. So this, not a dinosaur. Well, Bryce, how can you tell the difference? Well, because dinosaurs all evolved from animals that walked on their hind legs. And then uh, approximately half of them went back to uh, walking on all fours, and the other half continued to walk on two legs. But the thing that makes dinosaurs significant is that their legs go directly underneath the animal instead of like out to the side like current uh, lizards do. So like Triceratops, the uh, legs go straight down. So Dimetrodon, as you can see, the legs do not go straight down. They go out to the side like a lizard. He's basically a giant lizard, not a dinosaur, not related, and they did not live at the same time at all. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? <laughs> Scientist. Well, they're dumb. No, they're smart. Oh, we can't put the hat on this one? Oh, okay. That's fine then, I guess. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. <laughs> nice. Ooh. So footprints, footprint, footprints. Wyoming Museum. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. So small. I guess you can't trust the movies. <laughs> yep. So then what would you call that thing? A prehistoric lizard or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a lizard. I would call it a Dimetrodon. It is a reptile. Iguanodon. Oh, Iguanodon. Then we got Allosaurus. And then Trinosaurus Rex. Nice. And then, oh, that's a big name. And I can't tell if the P's are silent. I'm going to, I think the P is silent in this one. So it's Archicephalosaurus. Archicephalosaurus? I think that's what it is. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tony. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tony. <laughs> okay. And then Arasaurolophus. Arasolo. Arasaurolophus? What? Oh, he just says, hmm, a lot. Okay. Dang, they fighting. <sighs> this is so funny. So prehistoric reptile would be a better thing if you can't say the actual name. Oh yeah. Totally. Totally. Definitely a reptile. Hey, Joel. Okay, Lee. Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. Hmm? Yay, Joel is a hat now. And there's another hat.
Now we're matching! Oh, look at us. We're so cute together. Isn't this sweet? Happy birthday, Ellie! Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. That's sweet. Why do dinosaurs have the names they have? Uh, well, the idea is to name them in a way that describes how they were, how they evolved. Uh, however, that doesn't always work out sometimes, because sometimes you discover something, and then you give it a name, and then you realize, oh wait, that was actually descended by something else, and then the name just sticks. So... It's, and, and it's really hard to rename stuff in science, so normally they just go with the incorrect name. That's how it kind of goes. Complicated to say names must have meaning for them. Yes, they definitely have meanings, but doesn't necessarily mean the meanings are correct when they make more discoveries about their lineages. But yes, they do have meanings. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, hmm? it does, doesn't it? I see the appeal. Yay! Joel had fun. Can I hold on? I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test. I'm going to see if this is possible. Oh, no, no, no. We can't. Uh... What I was going to do is... Uh, can I wait? Uh, can I approach this without the hat and then give him my hat? I'm... Oh, whatever. I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. So do I, Joel. So do I. Also... Pterodactyls that are flying right there, those are also not dinosaurs, but they did live during the same time that the dinosaurs did. So those are flying reptiles, and they evolved separately to dinosaurs. They have a completely different lineage, but they did live among the same time. So if you want to include them in like dinosaur collections, that's fine. I guess that makes sense. But the Dimetrodon down there, absolutely not a dinosaur and not even a lineage of a, the dinosaur. The, to have this animal alongside dinosaurs is like having a cow next to dinosaurs. It really is that stupid. So I know it, it looks like a, a scary uh, reptile thing that, that should be a dinosaur. It's not, not related, different time entirely. It's like having a cow among dinosaurs. It really is that dumb. Can I give him my hat? No, I can't give him my hat. Okay, Joel lost his hat. And uh, and that's how it's going to be. Joel, I want to I stand next to you. Isn't this sweet? Everyone, I'm loving this. Not in the same class... Uh, Clarification is birds. Classification is birds. Uh, birds are dinosaurs. All birds descended from dinosaurs. Anyways, we got more fun museum stuff to do in this video game. And we're going to do all that in the next episode. So, to see that one, go ahead and click in the top right corner there. And then to see the previous episode of The Last of Us Chronological Let's Play, go ahead and click in the top left corner here. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. And until next time, later days.